Hello, a very good day to you. My name is Sister Temitayo, and I'm here once again to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. Now, the Open Heavens Daily Devotional that I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Now, if you're visiting my channel for the very first time or you know me personally, you may be asking why I'm sharing this particular daily devotional. The reason I'm sharing this is because as I prepare to enter into 2020, the Spirit of God instructed me to begin to share this particular daily devotional on YouTube to be very specific. So I shared in 2020 and in 2021 and in this year, 2022, I've resumed sharing from the month of July as the Lord commanded me. And all those videos are loaded on my YouTube channel and my handle on YouTube is Temi Agedo. So I encourage you to please visit my channel and while you're on there, please do subscribe. Now, how did I get to know Pastor Adeboye? Pastor Adeboye led me to Christ in October 1997, a few years back when I was an undergraduate in the University of Lagos in Nigeria in West Africa. And Pastor's unique style of teaching is that he'll give you a few scriptures from the Bible, he'll give you a memory verse, and when you combine those two pieces of scripture, it helps you to understand the body of the text and what the Spirit of God is saying to the person who is reading the daily devotional on that particular day. Praise the Lord. So today is Thursday, October the, the 20th, and... Um, starting from yesterday, Wednesday, Pastor is doing a series titled The Word. And it's going to be running for five days. So it started yesterday, Wednesday, and it's going to be ending on Sunday. So it's going to be The Word, part one to five. So we've done part one yesterday. I will encourage you to listen to it. You see, there's some food that nourishes the body. You know, um, you know. so the, the, this particular teaching expose is necessary for the growth of the Christian it's talking about the word of god so today we're going to be looking at the word part two okay praise god so the scriptural reading for today is taken from the book of psalm 119 verses 97 to 105 psalm 119 verses 97 to 105 this is the longest chapter in the bible it's a, one of the psalms of david it's such it has 176 verses and it is so big that it's bigger than the book of philemon and the book of titus put together you know, so it's the Psalm of David and it's a, one of the best Psalms ever. So we're going to be reading from Psalm 119 verses 97 to 105, which is nine verses. And I'm going to be reading from the traditional King James Version. Some of the verses, you find them very familiar. Praise God. So thus goes the reading of God's word. I'll be reading from the King James Version. And it says, oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou, through thy commandment, has made me, made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I may keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Thou, through thy precept, through thy precept I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Praise God. So, as I was reading that, you find some verses very familiar. Psalm, 100, Psalm 119 verses 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. And I remember the song, as I was reading this, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path amen so the word of god is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path meaning that the word of god is is able to give me guidance for the present and is able to give me guidance for the future is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and that is a worthy memory verse glory to god hallelujah so um the memory verse is taken from Ezekiel chapter 2, verses 2. Okay. Uh, I like Psalm 101. So I'm, I'm trying to cram a lot of scriptures because I need the word of God to get into me. Psalm 197, verse 101. Five, Psalm 119, verse 101. It says, I refrain my feet from every evil way that I may keep thy word. And as I thought about that, you know, there's some places I can't go because of who I carry. Praise God. Anyway, the memory verse is taken from the book of Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2. And the King James says, And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And the Spirit entered into me 
when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. So that spirit there is capital letters, that's the Holy Spirit. So as God spoke the word of God to Ezekiel, the spirit of God entered into him and caused him to arise. The Bible says, arise, shine, for your light is come and the glory of God is risen upon thee. Darkness may cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon. So the, the word of God is powerful. And is able to bring a person up from the prostration and depression in which life circumstances has set that person in, you know, and caused the light of God to shine. So the spirit of God, the word of God carries the spirit of God. The word of God carries fire like the Holy Ghost, like the spirit of God. Amen. And when the word of God enters into a person, the entrance of his word brings light and it brings understanding. And that light shineth in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Amen. And that's why the devil fights the believer from studying the word of God. But that devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's read. Pastor says that the word of God sets you on your feet in marriage, ministry, business, or whatever endeavor you embark on. John 6, 63 says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that was Jesus talking. So pastor says that when the word of God causes, it comes, it causes you to arise. You know when you're in church sometimes, when, when the word is coming forth, hey, you, you, you see people jumping up. It's not because they are just displayed. The word of God has, carries fire, you know. You know, it's like, uh, causes you to arise. It causes you, you may depress when you come, but when the word of God comes, you are, you are lifted. Lift up your head, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. Jesus Christ said that the word that, this is the spirit that quickeneth. So the spirit, the word of God carries the spirit, the word of God comes to you, like he did to Ezekiel. You know, as God was speaking the word unto him, the spirit entered into him. That the Holy Ghost entered into him. There was and he was filled and he and he rose up. He got up on his feet. Amen. So the word Jesus Christ said this. He tells us that it is the spirit of God that quickened it. The, there's no profit in the flesh. And he said that the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You know that memory verse, Ezekiel chapter 2. Let me read it again in the contemporary English version. It says, and after he said this, his spirit, capital S, took control of me and lifted me to my feet. Then the Lord said, after he said this, his spirit took control of me and lifted me to my feet. Then the Lord said, I rejoice at your word as one that find a great spot. You know when the word comes to you, you ah. You know, that it just causes the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. You just run around your room and you're like, ah, God, oh, you know, because the, the word entered into and it caused you to arise. When you study the word of God and allow it to dwell in you, the spirit in that word will fill you up. The spirit will set you on your feet, breathe life into you, and then enable you to do some things that you were unable to do before. The word of God is so complete that whatever you need to get on your feet in life can be found in it. In the word of God, you'll find countless messages for a better marriage, many lessons to help you to prosper in your business, academics, politics, relating to people with people, relating with God and anything relevant to life. Proverbs 2 verse 6 says, For the Lord giveth wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding there's a song we used to sing that came to my heart just now it says in the word of god there is power in the name of jesus every knee must bow in the word of god there is power and in the name of jesus every knee must bow so you see the word of god it's it's light. The Bible says that those that sat in darkness, they have seen a great light. And Jesus Christ is that light. And Jesus Christ is the word of God. You know, he says, for, for the Lord giveth wisdom. There's no wisdom anywhere. Christ is our wisdom. And out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Praise God. The Bible is God speaking to me. So when, you, when we start reading our Bible, God is talking to us. Hallelujah. God is talking. The word of God... Mm. The word of the when God, the Bible is God speaking to me. You know the God, the word of God is God speaking to you. Praise God, and the the spirit and the word are one. 
the spirit of God is the word of God in action. That's how Renard Bonke described him. That the spirit of God. Who is the spirit of God? He's the word of God in action. Pastor says that during the coronavirus lockdown, someone said he spent his free time studying previous editions of the Open Heavens devotional and discovered that no message had ever been repeated for the 20 years since we had been writing the devotional. That is because the devotional is a Bible study tool and the wisdom in God's word is inexhaustible. You know? Uh, no man can see the end of your glory. Uh -huh. The word of God is inexhaustible. You can never know. You can't see it. It is, uh, it is the many-sided, complicated, manifold wisdom of God. Amen. This is this is this is not the letter that kill it. It is quick and powerful. It is living and active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, and it is able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit up to the bones and the marrow and it is a discerner and the, of the intents and the thoughts of the heart is like a candle the spirit of you do you understand the word of god is the candle of the lord pastor gives a testimony say when i was writing my phd thesis i got to a point where i had 186 simultaneous equations and couldn't find a solution not two but 186 one faithful day i got tired of it all I threw the project aside and picked up my Bible to do some studying. I read the passage where God departed the Red Sea for the Israelites to cross in Exodus 14. And the Spirit of God spoke to me saying, that is the solution to your problem. I took up the thesis again. And this time around, I divided the questions into two categories, one on the left and the other on the right. Just as the, the Red Sea parted to the left and to the right. I then solved both categories separately and got my final answer soon afterwards. The word of God set me on my feet academically. Amen. And when I presented my thesis to the external examiner, he had no questions for me. He only said to the authorities, give this young man his PhD. I'm a, I'm an amazing testimony. So, <laughs> so pastor is a mathematician. You know, he's, um, he has a PhD in applied mathematics. And he's given us a testimony of how the word worked for him and how when he was doing his thesis, he had 186 simultaneous equations. If you've done math before, two simultaneous equations can be a bit of a problem you know but 186 is a dilemma so you know but he he didn't know how he was going to solve them and i remember when he was giving this testimony he said as he lay on his bed he decided to pick up his bible and he began to read exodus 14 and the spirit of god um took him to you know how uh, moses parted and how the god used it, the blast of his nostril to divide not the breath of his mouth the blast of his nostril so that it divided the water into two equal parts to the left and to the right and when god showed him that he then looked at the simultaneous equations and began to look for similarities the ones that had that were similar he put them to one side left and the one that had similarities another similarity he put them to the right side and the word of god the spirit of god helped him to solve 186 simultaneous equations, not two, 186. And he says that the word of God sets him on his feet academically. The word of God can set you on your feet in your marriage. Maybe concerning the issue of having a child, the word of God can cause you to conceive. The, Bible says, the word of God came to, to our mother Mary, a virgin, and he said that you have found that she had found favor with God, and that word carried power. The word of God does what he says, what he says he will do. He said, You shall bring forth a son, you shall call his name Jesus, and he shall save the people from their sins. The word of God carries power. He said that the word that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I have sent it to do, and it shall prosper daring. Praise the Lord. The key point, Pastor says, is study God's word intensely. And by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he will give you the wisdom you need to stand successfully in every area of life. Praise God. So how do you study the word of God? You know, there's, I had so many, you know, what works for me may not work for you. So until I found a devotional that's just, and so for so many years, I've been looking for, you know, I start from Matthew. I use this, you know, I didn't really get it. But one time I just got, um, a daily devotional from um, Bishop David Oedipo's son, and it's 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 I've, I've followed it for about three or four years now, and it is is what for me. So you have to find what works for you, and consistency is the name of the game. You read start with one chapter, you know, eat the elephant a bite at a time, and be consistent. And 
try and read at the same time and the spirit of god will meet you there and begin to the eyes of your understanding will become enlightened and we know what is the hope of our calling in the name of jesus christ let us pray heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus we thank you for today's daily devotional thank you for your word oh god our king we give you praises and glory for blessing us with your word Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, help us, Almighty God, to study, to show ourselves approved unto God. Help us to be workmen who will not be ashamed. Help us to rightly divide and apply the word of truth. Help us, Almighty God, to study every day. Help us to hunger and test after your words, as the deer panted after the water brooks. In the mighty name of Jesus, even now we ask for fresh grace, fresh anointing to study your word like never before in the mighty name of jesus give us a voracious appetite for your word and let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path in jesus name thank you dear holy spirit we give you praises and glory in jesus mighty name amen thank you so much for taking time to listen to me today i hope this blessed you and while you're on my channel don't forget to subscribe tap the notification bell also that every time i upload a video you're aware and I give you express permission to share this video. Share it, share, share, share. So it can be a blessing to somebody else. It's a form of evangelism. My name is Sister Temi Tayo. And I'll be seeing you again tomorrow by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, have a beautiful day.